I realize this is a bold thing to say, but Uncle Tom's Cabin, it may be the most progressive novel in American history. So Uncle Tom's Cabin is written by Harriet Beecher Stowe, and it is a famous, famous book. It was written in the 1850s, and it's famous because it is often cited as perhaps one of the sparks, if not the biggest spark, of the American Civil War. This book uh, kind of woke the country up to the evil of slavery. It um, is an all-out assault on the institution of slavery and slave owners and Americans' attitudes towards slavery. And um, there's a famous uh, story. We don't know if it's true or not, but reportedly, Abraham Lincoln, uh, when he met Harriet Beecher Stowe, which he did, apparently uh, he said, So you're the little woman that started this great war. And in the opening of this video, I said that this book was perhaps the most progressive novel in American history. For me, reading, I was like, whoa. Harriet Beecher Stowe was a bold, bold woman. In, in a lot of ways, this book reminds me of the movie 12 Years a Slave, um, which you know shows that a man gets kidnapped, sold into slavery, um, and he uh, is a slave for 12 years, and he goes through a bunch of different handlers. And Uncle Tom's cabin, Uncle Tom, who is our main character, one of our main characters anyways, uh, he is on an estate with a nice white family that treats their slaves really well. They still have slaves, but they treat them really well. And, um, well, long story short, they don't have enough money to keep this, all the slaves, and so they have to sell some. They sell Tom. Tom is sold into the slave trade, goes through a number of different owners. Like he met a slave owner in uh, New Orleans who he was a slave for a long time, who also treated him quite well. Um, and then he also fell into the hands of uh, maybe one or two others. It's been like three months since I read this book. He eventually fell into the hands of Simon Legree, who is uh, basically the worst kind of human being and the worst kind of slave owner in that time. And... Uh, yeah, the book reminded me a lot of 12 Years a Slave in that way as, as far as it showed the different kinds of slave owners. And I thought it did it in a very, very interesting and compelling way. There was also the character of Eliza and her husband who were trying to flee to Canada to be free because Canada in Canada, the slavery was uh, outlawed. Um, and so there was that also, that side plot. Um, and of course there was Uncle Tom and there were some other side plots as well. And to me, like the whole book, it was really a like giant conversation on the topic of slavery. And it showed both sides. Now it obviously showed that uh, the side that was for slavery was wrong, but it was just fascinating how Harriet Beecher Stowe, through dialogue, showed what the, what the American people's thoughts were on the issue and she showed what was wrong with people's thoughts and why the abolitionist perspective was right. Well, this book made me cry at times, particularly towards the end. Um, and I totally understand why this book upset the nation. And it, it caused, it was at least one of the sparks of the American Civil War. I totally see why. Because it definitely pissed off slave owners. Slave owners are not smiled upon in this book, even the ones that are not particularly cruel, the institution of slavery is still um, looked down upon as it should be. The whole novel was an exploitation and uh, conversation on the story of racism and slavery, and I thought it was overall amazing. Now there's a whole lot of uh, political stuff surrounding Uncle Tom's Cabin that I want to address. Uh, one thing is some people accuse the book of being racist uh, for a couple of reasons. One, the N-word is used in this book. I don't think that makes the book racist at all. I mean, the N-word was a word used back in the 1850s to describe black people. And it was a terrible thing to call black people. It basically was saying that they were less than human and it was awful. But we can't, call, we can't use revisionist history. It's a word that was used. And so I thought it was actually appropriate for the book. That should not be taken out. The people who try to replace the N-word with other words, like in Huckleberry Finn and in Uncle Tom's Cabin, they are stupid. They are, they are the people that cause history to repeat itself. Now, the other claim to why this book is racist, at least from what I could find, throughout the book, uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe, sometimes she characterizes black people and the black race as being a very um, calm-hearted, almost servile kind of race. 
um, that is not violent or aggressive and that sort of thing. You could definitely say that um, there was some prejudice attached to that, particularly with the serving characterization she put there that was almost, she was almost saying they shouldn't be slaves, but they're best at serving. Harriet Beecher Snow is not, Stowe is not here to defend herself, but you could, I could definitely see why you would think that. Um, I will say though, the other stuff about characterizing the black race as a calm and good natured people, I mean, some people were like, well, hey, uh, there's plenty of black, you know, some black writers are like, hey, you can't just put us into this box as being harmless animals. Um, Cause we, we will fight if we have to. Um, I don't think that's what the book was trying to say. Um, and I also, characterizing, like if somebody were to characterize the white race as a good natured and kind people, I'd be like, hey, thank you. But for some reason people took it as racist in this book. Perhaps there was a racist connotation to it because this is obviously a different time. And like you even look at stuff uh, having to do with Abraham Lincoln. Some of what he said about black people was racist, at least racist in our day. But uh, the idea that this book should be thrown out because the writer had some prejudices that were inappropriate is absurd because this book has done so much more good than it has done bad in regards to race and slavery. Now, the other thing having to do with Uncle Tom's Cabin that I truly don't understand is why, and perhaps anyone out there can tell me, um, why the name Uncle Tom is used as a slur. Uh, like I see black people often call other black people who are say maybe conservative Uncle Toms. Now, I think what that's about is Uncle Tom uh, is like a, becomes very religious in the book and he swears uh, that he will not be violent under any circumstances. Um, and so whenever he meets Simon Lecree, Simon Lecree just beats the crap out of him. Uh, Uncle Tom just just keeps doing his work anyways. Um, and the idea in the book is Uncle Tom is trying to kill Simon Lecree with kindness. And you see it kind of working because Simon Lecree, even though he's beating the crap out of Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom is not breaking. Um, and he's remaining uh, himself and that angers Simon Lecree throughout the book. The only thing though is, yeah, I guess you could say Uncle Tom is like a black man doing a white man's work no matter how bad the white man is. I, I see how you could re interpret it that way, but um, if you read the end of the book, and this is a partial spoiler, so you have been warned, um, Uncle Tom dies because Simon Lecree kills him. And what, what happens though is Uncle Tom knows where these two slaves are who have escaped from Simon Lecree's uh, plantation. He knows where they are. He knows where they've gone. And Simon Legree knows that Uncle Tom knows where they are. And so he is trying to torture uh, Uncle Tom into telling him where these two girls are. Uncle Tom never fights back. He never uh, curses at, at Simon Legree or anything like that. He doesn't respond in anger. He takes the whippings, all that stuff. But the thing that I really liked about what Uncle Tom did at the end of this book was he said, I know where they are. I know where they've gone, and I am not going to tell you. And Simon Legree kept on hitting him, and Uncle Tom would repeat that over and over and over again. And Simon Legree, it, it angered him more and more and more, because even though Uncle Tom was not responding in violence, he was beating the shit out of Simon Legree. He really was. And that was what I think that book was, you know, the character of Uncle Tom was trying to say, protest without violence, because if you use violence against violence, you're just contributing to the problem. To me, Uncle Tom was kind of a hero in that sense. If there is some other connotation to Uncle Tom being a slur, please let me know what it is. Because I don't want to be ignorant on this because I, I don't know why it is considered such a slur. Um, perhaps it, perhaps, yeah, perhaps it just means that you're a, you're a black man who will just keep on doing the white man's chores or something like that. 
because uh, Uncle Tom does do that, but you can see throughout the book that the reason he's doing that is because he knows that that is what will actually defeat Simon Legree. To me, Uncle Tom's Cabin is an A+. Plus. It really made me cry. It really, it really uh, just, it did such a good job of showing how awful slavery is and why it obviously needed to be uh, abolished. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, have you read Uncle Tom's Cabin? If so, please let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below, and I will take a look at your comments. I will definitely look at the comments on this one. And as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel.